In this video, I'm going to show you a $300 a day ClickBank affiliate marketing strategy. I'm logged into my ClickBank account here and you can see just some of the sales that I've been able to generate. I'm going to show you some of the methods that I've personally been using to get these sales and I'm going to show you everything step by step. There is no cost involved to set up any of these strategies. You don't need to pay for anything to implement what I'm going to show you in this video. Specifically, I'm going to show you what you need to do to achieve $300 a day on ClickBank using affiliate marketing. I'm going to show you how to do all of this using free traffic. We're not going to be using any paid ads, so you don't need to worry about any paid traffic and it's 100% beginner friendly. If you are more advanced and you've got experience with affiliate marketing, you're still going to learn a traffic source that you probably don't know about yet. So make sure that you keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Greg Kononenko and on this channel I put out regular videos about affiliate marketing, free traffic and blogging. So make sure to click subscribe just at the bottom of this video and enable all notifications so that you can get notified when my next video is uploaded. Thank you, let's get into it. Clickbank is currently one of the largest online marketplaces so you can find offers to promote for a commission in virtually any niche here are all the categories there are dozens of categories with dozens of subcategories i personally think clickbank is one of the best places to make money as an affiliate because of the quality of the offers and they also are generally digital offers which means that you can get 50 percent 75 percent and sometimes even 90 or 100 percent commissions on some of these offers that you can promote which means that you can make really good money if you're not a member of ClickBank yet, then go to clickbank.com and click this button here at the very top that says sign up and follow the prompts, fill out all of the information and it doesn't cost anything to open your account. You should get approved fairly quickly and easily. Once you're approved and once you've logged inside your ClickBank account, the next thing that you need to do is to find an offer to promote or even better is to decide on several offers that you're going to be promoting because this method that I'm going to show you will allow you to get a lot of traffic. I'm talking hundreds of visitors per day, thousands of visitors per day that will be visiting your ClickBank links. And you want to have several offers to promote just to maximize the amount of money that you're going to be making here. So you can choose from any of these categories on the left hand side and I will give you an idea on some of the categories that are worth looking into. It definitely helps if you are familiar or if you've got some knowledge with one of these categories. Uh, it, it's not a requirement, but if you are familiar with one of these categories, it might be looking into. So for example, if you are good with music, then you might want to look into the music category. Music offers are located under arts and entertainment. So if you click on arts and entertainment, it will bring up all of the offers in that category. You can also choose a subcategory if you want. So there is art, architecture, music, photography, etc. So let's look at the music subcategory. You can see here are the offers and I'm going to walk you through the key statistics that you need to look at on ClickBank to make sure that the affiliate marketing offer that you choose is a high quality offer. So first of all, what you want to see is how much the initial commission per sale is. So you can see that average commission per sale is 60% and initial dollars per sale is 21. So that means that on average for every sale that you make, you can, you're looking to make on average $21.05 commission, which is really good. Uh, that means that you're making about a 60% commission on the sale. Uh, if you want to preview what the offer is all about, you can click on this link. So each of these offers has got this link. So if you open it up, you will be sent to the sales page. And this is the sales page for this offer, Piano for All. So this is an offer that teaches people how to play piano. And as you can see, it uh, has a price. So $39 and $49 and you make a 60% commission on that. So this is how it works out to be $21 on the initial sale on average. So you'll notice that with some of them initial uh, dollars per sale or average dollars per sale are 79 and some are 639 so of course you want to ideally go for a product that offers a higher average initial dollars per sale the other important criteria to look at is gravity so you can see gravity here for this product is 103.08 there is a little bit of a complicated algorithm that goes into the calculation of gravity but basically gravity uh, simplistically means how many affiliates have successfully sold at least one copy of this product in the last two weeks. So here this tells us that at least 103 different people have been successful 
in making affiliate sales for piano for all in the last two weeks which is good news for us it means that there are a lot of people that are successfully promoting this as affiliates and a lot of people are buying this as customers so this offer has probably made many thousands of copies in sales in the last two weeks which basically means that if we send targeted enough traffic to it we will probably also make money so as a general rule you want to find something that offers at least twenty dollars average per sale and has a good gravity and good gravity is gravity over 20. that's my rule of thumb if at least 20 affiliates have made sales for this in the last two weeks i'm happy i know that i'm gonna make sales too lastly a very important thing here is something called affiliate page so if you open up the affiliate page link this is all of the information that you can possibly need that is provided by the seller to help you make sales so if you check this out you will see all of the resources that the seller has provided to the affiliates so information about the product there are also how much you could earn so some information here banner ads there are promotional videos there are piano related articles that you can read and uh, just learn more about it. There are sample testimonials that you can use. You can also request a review copy if you want. And um, it's very important if you decide to go ahead with a particular offer to go through all of the information on the affiliate page. We're not going to spend time on this now because we're going to come back to the affiliate pages later on when I show you how to actually drive traffic. For now, I just want to be able to explain to you uh, what the main things are to look out for when you're choosing a great offer to promote on Clickbank. So I would recommend for you to go through and browse through the categories, look at the different products and find a category with which you're comfortable. The only category that I would say uh, I would recommend for you to sort of stay away from are weight loss offers under health and fitness. There are some non weight loss offers under here that are good to promote such as green juices, etc. But in general, weight loss products are very hard to get traffic for because what I'm going to show you is how to get free traffic. And this free traffic is a little bit harder to get in these health and, and uh, fitness in the weight loss niches. So you can pretty much promote anything except for weight loss offers using the method that I'm going to show you. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to go with the home and garden category and in particular with the animal care and pets, pets category. And the offer that we're going to be working with is this one here, Brain Training for Dogs. It's a really good training course and we just recently got a puppy so I'm sort of interested in this stuff as well. And you can see that gravity here is excellent, 176 and that the average dollars per sale are 31 which is a really good commission if you're looking to make good money with Clickbank affiliate marketing. Also I can see that my commission is 75 so that means that the uh, price for the product is probably something like 40, 40 something dollars which is not too high which means that I'm going to get really good conversions as well. Okay so now that we have decided that we're going to be promoting this brain training for dogs uh, it's a good idea to also have a look at what other offers there are because we're going to be getting a lot of traffic and we need to see what other offers, offers there are that we can also promote. So in this category I can see there is also, also Doggy Dan's online dog trainer. Okay, so this gives us $69 per sale, which is cool. There's also Dog Training Secrets. So that's got a gravity of 8, but we can still probably promote this, which is fine. Uh, there is also another one here for cats. A cat says cats praying no more. Brand new with a 16.2% conversion rate. Okay, so this one gets 27. So we can promote at least three offers based on dogs and one offer based on cats. And um, in general, if you can find two or three excellent offers in your niche, this is plenty. So I'm comfortable that we can make good money in this niche and we can go ahead into the next step. Okay, so next we need to talk about how we're going to be getting the traffic. and the traffic is going to be 100% free traffic. So it's not instant. We will need to do a, a few steps for you to set up the traffic so that it actually starts coming in. And we will use Google Sites to get traffic. Now, if you're not familiar with Google Sites, I think you're going to be amazed at the results that people are currently getting with Google Sites. Google Sites is super powerful and can get you a ton of free traffic pretty quickly, a lot quicker than if you were to try to get traffic uh, by building your own blog. So um, I will show you how to do this. It's a strategy that I've been testing for the last few months with a few customers of mine and I'm going to show it to you here for free so that you can learn to master it as well. All right, so we're going to be getting, we're going to build a site on Google Sites and we're going to be publishing content there. The people will view that content on Google Sites and we will redirect 
that traffic to ClickBank from our Google site. Let's do this. Okay, so people who own dogs are our target audience, right? And every day they type in millions of different searches into Google trying to find solutions to their problems. For example, something that I personally recently had to do was to find out how to stop our puppy barking at the neighbors. So people start typing all sorts of stuff into Google and one of the examples that they will type in is how to stop my dog barking and then you see barking at night, barking at people, barking when I leave, at birds, at the TV, at neighbors. All right, so we're getting all of these suggestions from Google and that means that all of these things are popular things that people search for and every single day and we are going to publish a little bit of content on our site that helps them with this problem and once they get to our Google site, we will redirect them to dog training because they're gonna be interested, people who are interested at how to stop my dog barking, okay, in general are interested in training their dog. And this is exactly what our product provides. It provides them a solution with how to train their dog. How do I know this? Well, there is information on the affiliate page as well as I can preview this uh, sales page. And you have to do this with every offer. You need to make sure that you understand what kind of problem this uh, product is solving. So here it says, develop, develop your dog's hidden intelligence to eliminate bad behavior and create your obedient, well-behaved pet of your dreams, all right? So I'm kind of familiar with this, but if you are considering promoting a product that you don't know anything about, you need to read up on it and try to understand as well as you can what kind of problems this product is looking to solve. So the logical flow that we've got here is someone who starts looking for how to stop my dog barking at people, all right? They will see these Google results and millions of people do this every single day. And I will show you how to get here into the top 10 Google search results, okay? And once somebody types that in, they will click on your website. And once they click on your website, for example, let's say if this is your website, they will land onto your page and they will read that little bit of information that you put up. And from there, we will put a little banner and they will be able to click that banner and that banner will be your affiliate link. So from here, if you click this promote button, you will be able to generate what's known as a hop link. So you just need to make sure that your account nickname is correct. So then just click generate hop link, grab this hop link, okay? And this is your affiliate link. If now you insert this onto your website or if you somehow get other people to click this, so let's just test it by inserting it into browser this will actually open up this offer via your affiliate link. You can see it's, it attaches this little thing here called hop equals G Enco. And then if somebody decides to buy this, then you will see at the very bottom that there is your affiliate URL that is recorded. So that sale is gonna get credited to you. So it says here, affiliate equals G Enco. So that's my affiliate ID on ClickBank. So that basically means that this link is the link through which we need to redirect people to the affiliate offer when we put that information onto our website. Okay, so just to recap, what we're gonna do is we're going to target uh, people who are searching for these different keyword terms. I'm gonna show you how to find them, etc. Then I'm gonna show you how to get onto here, onto page one. And then once they land on your website, I'm gonna show you, because there's gonna be hundreds of people that are gonna be landing on this page. I'm gonna show you how to put up a little banner and then that banner will go via your affiliate link, it will go to uh, this order page, and then people will be ordering it and you're gonna be get, getting commissions for the purchases. The first thing that you want to do is find out what kind of keywords people are searching for. To, you, to do that, you can use this tool called Word Tracker, wordtracker.com, so just head over there. So you can pretty much start straight away by typing something into here where it says enter seed keyword and click search. Now, what we want to do is we want to start with a search phrase such as my dog. Think about what kind of things people will put into Google and take out a so-called seed keyword out of those phrases. For me, it would be everything regarding my dog, how to teach my dog to sit. Uh, okay, I can also use my puppy, my cat, so, so people are searching for different solutions to what to do with my dog. So let's see what comes up. All right, there you go. So there, there's a ton of results and it says, why does my dog eat grass? How much should I feed my dog? Why is my dog shaking? 
Can I give my dog Benadryl? Why does my dog stare at me? The important thing here is to look at the competition and volume. Volume is the approximate average number of searches per month over the last 12 months for that particular keyword. Uh, and the competition is the higher this number, the more organic competition for this keyword. So you want to find some keywords that have very low competition and reasonable search volume and you want to be producing content on those keywords. I'm going to show you how to do that. So now that you've got these keywords sorted by volume, you want to go down the list and you want to find some uh, keywords that have quite low competition. So here the one that jumps at me is this one 3.9 to 3977 search volume and it says why does my dog lick his paws? So this is a pretty good one because this uh, would probably be typed in by people who are quite new to dog ownership and that's my target market. Now you might notice that if you scroll all the way to the bottom there are uh, a lot of keywords that are actually locked right now and you need to sign up for a free trial to unlock these you only get the top 50 search results if you do decide to do that uh, there is actually a seven day free trial on wordtracker.com so just sign up for that seven day free trial if you have to cancel it afterwards that's completely cool uh, because in those seven days you will be able to do all of the research that you can possibly need and then in the future you can cancel you actually don't need to even give your credit card for the free trial okay and um, you can cancel this free trial if you don't want to continue using the service there is no charge to you in the future you can re-sign up again with a different email address if you want to but for now this is just a free solution for you to use a pretty good keyword research tool so for now let's just say that one of the keywords that we want to target is this one why does my dog lick his paws so let's just quickly verify and make sure that this keyword really does get good searches on Google. So why does my dog lick his paws? Okay, so that's one of the top suggestions, which gives me comfort that this really is a commonly searched keyword that a lot of people are searching for on Google. So this is a really good one to start with. And let's go ahead with this as an example for the next step. I'm going to show you how to build a website on Google Sites. It's very easy and it's completely free. You don't even need to pay for hosting. You don't need to pay for a domain name. Uh, and it works perfectly well for the traffic method that I'm about to show you. Okay, so once you go to sites.google.com, you should see an interface that's similar to this. And you can click start a new site uh, or you can choose one of these templates. Using a template is one of the simplest ways to start and one of the templates that works really well if you open up this template gallery is the project template. But really you can use any template that you want. You can just click on them and choose which one you prefer. But for this video I'm going to show you how to use the project template. After you click on one of those templates it will load up a project that looks like this. It's a default website. It already has a default menu here and you can just continue adding pages in here if you want. Everything is customizable, but just like this, in a very simple way, you've actually got a website set up and this website is going to be indexed by Google and these sites hosted on sites.google.com currently rank really well and they get a lot of traffic. So if you put up content here, uh, the way that I'm going to show you in this video, you will have a really good chance of attracting visitors from Google, ranking there on page one of Google and attracting visitors from Google who will be searching and finding your content. And then once they are on your site, you can redirect them via your affiliate links to ClickBank. First of all, you want to give this site a name. So instead of project, let's say that we call it caffeinated dog training or anything else that you possibly decide to call your website. For project name, once again, let's call it caffeinated dog training and you want to customize it a little bit so you probably will want to change this header photo to something dog related to do that just click on this image it says change image so um, get a new image from pixabay once you're on pixabay you can use any of these images they're royalty free images that you can see here so just type in dog or whatever the keyword is for your niche this photo looks pretty good to me so i can just download it and then over here go change image upload and let's upload that image here all right there we go we've now got our header image all sorted to change these things once again you can just click into them and type whatever you decide to put on the front page of your website now let's just click publish and preview how our site actually looks 
When it says publish to the web, this is going to be your URL sites.google.com slash view caffeinated dog training. So this is all looking good. We need to make sure that this is left unticked. So it says request public search engines not to display my site. We don't want to do that. We want to display our site. So click publish and that's going to go ahead and publish your website. And then you can of course uh, continue editing it. So once it's published, you can go here to publish and then go view publish site and that's going to open up your website. So congratulations, you now have your own website published online just like that very, very quickly. Now we want to create and put up our first piece of content to come up here on the left hand side as one of these pages. To do that, go back to the edit view and where it says home history team FAQ, these are all pages. So the home page, we want to st we want it to stay the way that it is because we're going to kind of maintain this nice layout, but we do want to start editing all of these other pages. So for example, where it says history, we want to go here and we want to create our first article on this page. So this is the keyword that we decided to go for. Why does my dog lick his paws? So let's put that into here and that's going to be the title of our first post. Why does my dog lick his paws? So now we need to write an article on this topic. To write the article, it's very simple because all you need to do is click into these spaces here and just start typing. So you just click in and start typing and here I've already just typed in a very brief introduction to the article. Now if you want to create a, another block of text under this image for example, you can do that by just going duplicate section and then you can drag and drop it. Just literally take this and drag it below the image. Okay, and as you can see, it's like super, super simple to use this uh, and you can create really beautiful looking blog posts just by doing this drag and drop and clicking and typing. In terms of the content for your post, it's a good idea to go ahead and read as much as you can about the topic. So just type in that keyword search term into Google and research what other people have actually written about it. And then rewrite that in your own words. You want to go for 2000 words in your blog post, 2000 words in your blog post. That is usually enough for you to get onto page one of Google if you're publishing your content on Google Sites because Google Sites actually has some built-in authority. Google prefers, believe it or not, Google prefers to display their own websites over other websites on front page of Google. And if you are unsure whether this is true or not, that's completely normal, I understand. I'm gonna show you some proof. I'm here inside Ahrefs. You guys don't need to use Ahrefs. It's a premium tool, I've got it because I'm a full-time blogger and I need a sort of a complex tool for my purposes, but I just want to show you everybody's sites on sites.google.com and the statistics just so that you are comfortable that this actually works. How many, how many keywords, how many different keywords people's sites that are hosted on sites.google.com are currently ranking for? 43.8 million different organic keywords. And in total, they're getting over 54.6 million organic traffic per month. In reality, these sites will be getting a lot more than 54.6 million. This uh, number is usually three to five times lower. So the sites that are hosted on sites.google.com are basically getting hundreds and hundreds of millions of visitors. So if we look at the actual organic keywords that they're ranking for, this tool allows us to do that. You'll see all these different people's sites. So someone's built a site on google.com targeting unblocked games. Okay, it just says sites.google.com site Tyrone's Games Hack. And this is ranking for unblocked games, 308,000 different searches per month that this keyword is getting. Okay, so if we, if we take this keyword, just to kind of double check, and we type in unblocked games into Google, you can see that that site is ranking here as position number one, all right? So this is proof for you that Google sites actually rank extremely well. And some of these keywords are not easy keywords. Look at this one, hotmail.com login. So this site is ranking and keyword difficulty is 62, volume 302,000 and it's ranking as position number five. So guys, it's just uh, at the moment, you know, it's so easy to get traffic. Uh, with sites.google.com that I really decided to share this with you because that's something we've been experimenting with the last few months and the results are awesome. So basically now to wrap it up, to start uh, your, your website and to give it a good chance of ranking for why does my dog lick his paws, you need to write an article, 2000 words. If you're unsure what to write about, then just do research on 
uh, Google, read as many blogs as you as you can or as you need and write it in your own words. Make sure that you stick a nice image every few paragraphs because that just makes your page a lot more readable. If you need images, use Pixabay. On Pixabay, you can get awesome images for pretty much any niche, any topic that you want. Everything is completely click and point and do. So for example, if I want to uh, change this image here, I just click on it and then go here, replace image, upload, and then just upload another image that I want to put on here. And there we go. This is now uh, our new image. I will spare you the pain of watching me write a 2000 word blog post. So let's just pretend that I have written it. So I've got a paragraph here, an image, then and another paragraph. Obviously yours would be a lot longer. You need to write, like I said, about 2000 words. Um, but I want to show you now that let's pretend you've completed this, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to insert affiliate links into this post. So as you remember, we can grab our affiliate link from here. So our affiliate link on here will be we just click promote, all right, and we will grab that affiliate link that it generates here for us. So you want to insert your affiliate link in several places throughout the text of your article. So for example, we might uh, end the article with something like want to train your dog to become smart, joyful and obedient. Click here to learn the best way to train your dog's brain. So we're going to insert link and then just apply it here. Okay, and that's now become a clickable link. And the other thing that you can do and probably should do is to insert an image that is also clickable as well. And for that, you can use the affiliate tools. So if you go here and then open up this affiliate page, then um, on here, they will provide you with some banners. All right, so see how it says banners, go to banners. So you can just go to banners and as an affiliate, you're allowed to use this. So um, you can use any of these images, just choose the one that you like the most. For example, if you like this image, then just get this image. So you want to download it, go save image as, then you want to duplicate this section with the photo. So just let's click duplicate and uh, drag it here below so that we can insert an image as well. And then let's see where it says, so now we've got this image, we want to change that image. So replace image, upload. Let's upload this as the banner. All right, now we want to resize it as well. So uh, let's just make it a little bit smaller. Everything is drag and drop. It's extremely easy to use. So like this, now, now we've got, we can see the whole image. So the last thing we want to do is make sure that this image is clickable. So once again, we just click on the image and then where it says insert link, we want to insert once again that affiliate link, our affiliate link and click apply. So let's now publish again and preview what our site actually looks like. So this is our main site. This is looking really good. And uh, our new page will be published under here under history. So we're going to change that in just a second as well. So now you can see that um, this is our article and at the bottom we've got a clickable link. So whenever someone lands on this page, if they click this link, that'll take them, see it says redirecting. So that will take them via your affiliate link. It will take them to the sales page and you'll get credited with the sale of somebody buys. So just also test that this image works properly. And yep, we can see that this is also redirecting correctly as well. So this is awesome. Now we want to make sure that we just change this to, uh, instead of saying history, we want this link to say, why does my dog leak pause? And we can do that through, see here it says pages. So we just go where it says history, click on that and click properties. And that will, you can change that. Why dogs leak pause. All right, so that we'll change that to something that actually makes sense. Once again, we publish publish again. Now that everything is published, let's refresh this. And you can now see that it says why dogs leak paws. Excellent. So it's, as you can see, it's extremely simple to use uh, Google sites to create a website very fast. If this is not perfectly aligned to the center, then just use this to drag and drop and align it. You can and probably should also insert some affiliate links uh, here in the middle of the article. So if you want to do that, then you can just mention it in uh, one of the sentences and underline part of the text and link it by your affiliate link once again. So just a quick example, if you've got a uh, sentence that says something like, I read more about it in a really good training guide yesterday and found out that dogs do it when they're bored. So you've referred to a really good training guide and or dog training guide. All right. So you can just highlight a part of it. Really good dog training guide. And then insert link and then insert that affiliate link. And just like that, this has become clickable.
So you've probably seen other blogs do this. They make references to different things quite often within the text. So if we refresh this website, you'll see that there's just like a reference to it here now published on this. I read more about it in a really good dog training guide. So as people are reading your article, they will click on this link. And once again, by the affiliate link, they'll get here. All right, you saw how simple and easy it was to create a site on Google Sites. And here is the outline of your strategy. So you need to research keywords. Uh, you need to research about 10 to 20 keywords per mini site. And you need to publish an article on each of those keywords. So if you research 20 keywords, you will need to publish 20 articles with 2000 words on each of those articles. Google Sites will rank a lot better than your own website, especially if your own website is brand new because Google gives preference to Google Sites. And you can insert links into that article text. You should be inserting your affiliate link just the way that I showed you into the article text. And generally within two to three weeks, you will start to see rankings and results. This is of course not guaranteed. It comes down to how well you choose the keywords. Make sure that you choose keywords that have very low competition and that you publish high quality articles. But if you do everything correctly and you go for low competition keywords, you should be starting to see results fairly soon. Once you've done all of these, you've got the 20 articles for your one mini site, then you can repeat the process and scale up and up and up and build more of those sites that will just passively get traffic every day from Google. And the people, once they get onto your website, they'll start clicking the affiliate links and they'll start buying those ClickBank products. Well, now you know how to do ClickBank affiliate marketing the easy way. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a couple more ClickBank tutorials posted for you. So just make sure that you check them out here above. And also in the bottom left of your screen, click that subscribe button and enable all notifications to make sure that you never miss my future videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.